The policeman desperately maneuvers to try to disengage the girl. A woman who was passing by saw the scene and misinterpreted it. My God, this will not stay like that, she says, grabbing her cell phone and recording what happened. I'll record it now and show it to the boss. How can he do this in a public place, says the horrified woman. The woman finally lets go and thanks the policeman. He just did his job, he informs her. I don't even know how to thank you, but, says the woman taking an amount of money and handing it to the man, who refuses to accept it. He just did his job, the man tells her to take care of herself and she leaves. Again Ruth, besides being late you are still on your cell phone, shouts the boss. Madam, I need to show you something, you know that security guard here in the company? No, I better show you, says Ruth, she picks up her cell phone and shows the video to the woman. I don't believe this, are you sure it's him? Ruth confirms and informs that he was still in uniform. The boss is indignant and says that she will take the appropriate measures. And that's not all, but I don't even know if I can talk, says the girl. No, you need to tell me, I need to know what happens in my company, pleads the boss. Ruth then informs her that she has seen him on the stairs taking off his clothes. The woman is in shock and cannot believe it and says she needs to fire him. She thanks the employee and leaves for her office. Good afternoon, ma'am. You sent for me? Says the smiling security guard. Yes, John. I kept calling you. The matter I have to deal with you is very serious. She says frowning. John doesn't understand, you are being fired from my company. The man questions the decision and asks why. The woman just informs him that he knows very well the reason for this. But ma'am, I've always been an exemplary guy. I've always worked hard, I've never done anything. The woman goes on to say that he knows very well and that all he has to do is think carefully and he will find out why. The man insists and says he doesn't know why. Please don't fire me. I have two children to raise, pleads the man. The woman doesn't care and goes ahead with the dismissal. He begs her not to do it, but she doesn't give in, tells him to leave his work material on the table and tells him to get out of her way. The man leaves with his head down. The girl who was saved runs into John on the street. John, what happened? She asks. I lost my job, I'm looking for one, he informs. But you were in uniform that day, you even saved me. That day someone with bad intentions must have filmed us and shown it to my boss, and she got the wrong idea and fired me. The woman becomes indignant and says that this will not remain so. They decide to go to the company to change the situation. Look Ruth, you keep this document here. What are you doing here? I told you I don't want you in my company, shouts the boss to John. Calm down, I'll explain everything, says the woman. It was all a misunderstanding. There was no misunderstanding, because there are no arguments against facts. What I saw in the video says it all. But I came to prove otherwise. I was the girl. That day I was choking. He was on his lunch break, he was passing by and saw me having a bad time and helped me, he practically saved my life, I could be dead if it weren't for him. The mistress is in shock and asks the young man if this is true. He confirms and says that he didn't explain himself because he didn't have the chance. The mistress apologizes and turns to Ruth, and you young lady, you should ask forgiveness and pay attention next time. Ruth asks forgiveness from the boy. Now you're fired, says the mistress. John tries to intervene. 
but the mistress says that she needs to be punished so she can learn to see things properly before she starts talking. The girl begs for her job, but the mistress throws her out and threatens to call the police. John, forgive me, I shouldn't have believed you right away, I should have filtered before I acted. Do you accept to return to the company? Asks the boss. Look madam, I was very sad about what happened, because you judged me without letting me try to defend myself, but I will accept because I really need this job and I ask you never to judge people like that. First seek the truth. She agrees, takes his hand and welcomes him back to the company, he smiles.